Christmas ladybug. What's the meaning of the word ladybug? What's the root of ladybug? Why this name? I saw this ladybug just before Christmas. My sister always swore that she prepared, or she prayed, sorry, for a sign from God for the health of her firstborn who was still in her womb. God sent her a ladybug, not once, but many times, when it was very tough times for her. It's always when she needed the sign most. We all know that ladybug is a sign of good luck, right? But why? What I learned is there are seven spots are on, the, on her wings or on the back of a ladybug. But there's more to its name. A ladybug is known as a ladybird in Europe. It is, of course, a beetle, but the name first mentioned by Shakespeare himself. In 1597, he said, What lamb? What ladybug? Or ladybird? In 1647, we start seeing written documentation of how the seven black spots on the back of this red bug were seen by the Europeans as the seven sorrows of Mary, mother of Jesus. This is outlined in the biblical text of Luke 2. And you can read that uh, later on in the text. But Simon basically uh, gave Mary warning about many things and how blessed she was as well. And one of the last things was, So the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. As you know, Jesus was pierced with a sword when he was dying up on the cross. And Mary's heart must have been pierced with, yeah, sorrow. But she was, of course, taken care of by John, the disciple, as Jesus commanded and asked. Farmers prayed to God, some say to the Virgin Mary, which is the Catholic tradition, to help save their crops from pests. What did God send? You guessed it, ladybirds, or ladybugs, as we now know them. In Dutch, as you can read here, if you read Dutch, the name of ladybug is Liefsehirbeesje. Roughly translated, that means sweet godbug, or maybe better said, holy godbug. Very interesting, such a name. The story goes that a man was sentenced to death because he probably killed someone. Before they were about to cut off his head, he said, Stop! There's a bug on my neck, a beast, as they call him in Dutch. Can you let that creature go or else he will die? Everybody liked so much that he said that. They no longer believed he could have been a murderer. So they let him go. And that's why everyone thought the ladybug was sent by our dear God. And that's a better translation of Leafs of Hirbeish is dear, dear God, dear Lord. And you can see uh, here some of the texts from the Bible, Luke 2. And it's all just quite amazing that, uh, yeah, that a simple term, a simple word that we use all the time has yeah, such a deep meaning and such, such uh, yeah, emotion, such, such history behind just simply a word, the word of an insect in this case. So next time you see a ladybug, especially around Christmas time, remember, there may be more than meets the eye. All right, take care.